do your countertops look like this? Outdated? Out of style? Tired and worn out? What can you do? Replacing your countertops can be messy and for most of us can require hiring an expensive contractor. But why remove them when you can renew them? Rust-Oleum Countertop Transformations gives you the durability you want with a look you love. And with Rust-Oleum Cabinet Transformations, you can easily transform the look of your kitchen cabinetry. To learn more, visit rustoleumtransformations.com. Countertop transformations is easy to apply and doesn't require extensive remodeling. In fact, there are no special skills required and you won't even have to remove your countertops. With this simple kit, a few extra tools, and just one weekend, you'll have beautifully restored countertops that will last for years to come. Take a moment to measure your countertops using the directions in the informational pamphlet or on the website. Before you begin, make certain you have enough material to complete the entire project. The countertop transformation system includes adhesive base coat, wetting agent, decorative color chips, and our specially formulated two-part protective top coat. Your kit also includes a decorative chip dispenser, decorative chip scraper, diamond embedded sanding tool, texture sample, sanding block, stir sticks, an instructional pamphlet and DVD. Before you get started, you will need to gather the following tools and materials. See the included instructional pamphlet for a complete materials checklist. As with any project, be sure to have everything you need before getting started. Plus, it's best to keep pets and kids out of the room during the entire refinishing process, as it's important to avoid scratches and smudges to the coating as it dries. For complete step-by-step -step instructions and other useful tips, refer to your instructional pamphlet. For frequently asked questions and other inspirations, visit rustoleumtransformations.com. Let's get started by removing everything from your countertops and inspecting them carefully. They must be in good condition. Small burns, scratches, and blemishes will be coated easily, so there's no need to treat these separately. However, areas with excessive caulk such as near the wall or around the sink, should be scraped off with a putty knife or paint scraper. Cracks where countertops meet at the corners, along with dents and chips, will need to be filled before you start. To repair, lightly sand the spot first with a medium grit sandpaper and use a two-part epoxy putty to fill in the area. Let dry and sand flush to the surrounding area. Now wipe down the countertops and clean thoroughly with soap and water to remove dirt and grease and let dry. Wearing protective eyewear, a dust mask, and gloves, use the diamond embedded sanding tool included with your kit to thoroughly sand the entire surface. This tool has been specially designed for this project to create very fine scratches in the countertop surface. These scratches will ensure maximum adhesion for the adhesive base coat. It will also dull and degloss your countertop. To use this special tool properly, place both hands on it, press down firmly, and sand in a circular motion. Continue sanding until your entire countertop is completely deglossed. Be sure to also thoroughly sand the backsplash, back edge and front edge too. Be careful not to scratch your walls and sink. Once this is complete, remove the dust with a shop vacuum using the brush attachment. Or, if you don't have a shop vacuum, you can use a hand brush and dustpan. Then, Wipe down your counters with a damp, lint-free cloth and allow them to dry. If you see dust on your hand after wiping the counter, be sure to wipe the countertop again. Repeat as often as necessary until all sanding dust is removed. Now, visually inspect the countertop again to ensure that the entire surface is deglossed. You'll know that it is deglossed when the entire surface is covered with fine scratches. Now, tape off all areas around your countertop including the edges of your sink, cabinets, and walls using smooth painter's tape. Be sure all edges are pressed down to ensure that none of the coating will be able to bleed through. Also, 
mask off the sink to ensure that no decorative chips end up in your drain. Move your appliances out of the way. If they can't be moved, cover them with plastic sheeting, along with your base cabinets and back wall. You should also put drop cloths on the floor. Next, create a workstation in your kitchen to make preparation for the next steps easier. The two next steps must be completed together. It's easier if you can work in a team of two. In this stage, you will apply the adhesive base coat and then apply the decorative color chips while the base coat is still wet. It's very important for the adhesive base coat to stay completely wet until it is coated with the decorative color chips. To achieve the best results, keep your windows closed and your ceiling fans turned off. Once again, keep pets and children out of the room while you're working. Variation in temperature and humidity will also affect how long the adhesive base coat stays wet. First, prepare the decorative chip dispenser by filling it three quarters full with decorative chips. Adjust the control to setting number two and set it aside. Next, prepare the wetting agent by putting on the spray nozzle and gently shaking. Working quickly and working together is essential during this stage. It's recommended that one person work with a brush and the other with a roller. Working in manageable sections allows for speedy application of the decorative color chips while the surface is still wet. Begin by stirring and pouring a portion of adhesive base coat into a clean paint tray. Working from back to front, use a two inch synthetic brush to apply a thick coat of adhesive base coat to the backsplash. Be sure that your coverage includes one to two inches of the flat countertop surface. This will prevent your roller from accidentally bumping into the backsplash when rolling. Now apply a thick coat to the area around the sink. Once you have a nice thick coat, lightly brush over it to ensure a smooth, even finish. Now, using a six inch long, 3 8 inch nap roller, apply a thick coat of adhesive to the countertop surface and front edge. Don't push the roller. Instead, apply using a high angle to keep the roller moving. This is heavy adhesive, so make sure you lay it on thick. You shouldn't see any of the original countertop through the surface of the base coat. After the adhesive base coat has been applied, quickly inspect for areas that are too heavy or too thin, especially around the backsplash and front edge. Apply more adhesive base coat where necessary. Finish by going back to where you started and lightly re-rolling the entire surface to ensure a smooth, even coating. Now, spray the wetting agent over the surface, not too much, just enough to keep it wet. The wetting agent keeps the base coat wet longer and improves adhesion of the chips. Be careful not to get the wetting agent on any surface that has not been coated with adhesive base coat. While the adhesive base coat is wet, immediately apply the decorative color chips using the decorative chip dispenser you prepared earlier. To use the dispenser, simply pull the trigger and turn the handle clockwise at a steady pace. Apply the decorative color chips to the backsplash first, followed by a quick application to the front edge. Next, apply an even coating across the entire flat countertop surface. This is a job where more is definitely better, so make sure you heavily coat the entire surface. Once the entire countertop has been fully covered with chips, inspect the countertop to make sure that 100% of the adhesive base coat is completely covered with chips. It is important that no adhesive base coat can be seen through the decorative chips. Apply more chips to lightly covered areas. If you accidentally remove chips by leaning on or touching the surface, or if there's a spot where the chips didn't stick, it can be fixed easily. Using a damp sponge dipped into the adhesive base coat Lightly sponge over the area, then immediately cover the area with chips. At this point, the surface should look very rough. We'll remove the excess chips and sand them smooth after they dry. Now, very important, let your countertop dry, undisturbed, overnight for a minimum of 12 hours, but no more than 24 hours. Now that the chips have completely dried overnight, begin by removing the excess chips with a shop vacuum using the brush attachment. If you don't have a shop vacuum, you can use a hand brush and dustpan. Once the excess chips have been removed, 
Use the plastic scraper included in the kit to smooth the chip edges and remove loose chips. Be careful not to gouge the surface, especially on the edges and corners. You will only need enough pressure to obtain a smooth, even texture. Once again, use a shop vacuum with a brush attachment to remove the excess chips. If you don't have a shop vacuum, you can use a hand brush and dustpan. Sand the countertop surface smooth with the diamond embedded sanding tool in the same way you did earlier. Then, use the sanding block to sand the backsplash and front edge. Since the sanding block has fully textured sides, it's perfect for getting into curved areas, tight spots, and smoothing the front edges. Keep a light touch on corners and edges. You only need enough pressure to create a smooth surface. Do not sand through the chips. After sanding, rub your hand over the surface of the countertop to check for any rough or raised areas. Any rough areas should be resanded to the appropriate smoothness. After sanding, if you notice any oversanded or bare spots where the chips didn't stick, you can touch up these areas with a damp sponge dipped into the adhesive base coat. As you did before, sponge the adhesive base coat onto the surface and immediately cover with chips. Allow to dry for a minimum of four hours, then sand down so that the repaired surface is smooth and even with the surrounding area. Now, Check to see that you have achieved the right texture by comparing your countertop to the texture sample provided in your kit. If your countertop feels like the sample, you're all set. If not, then continue to sand until smooth. The final feel of your countertop depends on how smooth you sand the chips. Use your shop vacuum with brush attachment once more to remove any remaining chips and dust. If you don't have a shop vacuum, you can use a hand brush and dustpan. Finish by wiping the surface clean with a damp, lint-free cloth and allow your countertops to dry. If dust remains after this step, wipe down the countertop again. Repeat as often as necessary until all sanding dust is removed. This final step will create the beautiful, lasting finish that will protect your countertops for years to come. While wearing gloves and protective eyewear, Carefully pour the entire contents of the protective top coat Part A activator into the Part B base and thoroughly mix with the provided stir stick for at least two minutes. It's important to stir thoroughly for proper activation. Once mixed, the protective top coat must be used within four hours. Pour a portion of the mixture into a clean paint tray. To begin, simply work from back to front as you did with the adhesive base coat. First, Use a 2-inch synthetic paintbrush to generously apply a thick coat to the backsplash. As with the adhesive base coat, be sure that as you brush the backsplash, you include 1-2 to two inches of the flat countertop surface to ensure a smooth transition. Once you've coated the entire surface, lightly brush back over it to ensure a smooth, even finish. Next, dip a 6-inch long high-density foam roller into the protective top coat and apply to the entire flat surface and front edges of the countertop. The brush can be used for tight areas where the roller doesn't fit. Once complete, lightly re-roll the entire surface in one direction, just like you did with the adhesive base coat, to ensure a smooth, even finish. You will need to ensure that the protective top coat stays free of dust and lint. So once again, be sure to keep your windows closed and your ceiling fans turned off. Also, remember to keep kids and pets out of the room until the finish dries, or you may end up with accidental fingerprints and smudges. Now allow your countertops to dry for four to six hours. Drying times will vary depending on your weather conditions. A helpful tip is to score the painter's tape along the edges of your countertop in sink once the protective top coat is dry to the touch. Then remove the tape. Wait 48 hours before resuming light use of the countertops. Light use includes placing items on your countertops that weigh less than 5 pounds. Let the countertops cure for at least one week before you resume full use. After that, be inspired to let the transformation continue with a new sink, faucet, and cabinet hardware. Plus, you can use additional kits to transform a kitchen island, table, or other flat surfaces around your home. As with any countertop, using cutting boards will eliminate any chance of future scratching. 
and using trivets and pot holders will help protect against heat damage. No special care is needed for your new countertop, so maintaining it is simple. To clean the surface, use a damp cloth or sponge and a mild soap or non-abrasive cleaner. The easiest way to avoid stains is to not let spills sit on the surface. All countertop surfaces should be wiped clean regularly. Congratulations, you're finished and ready to begin enjoying your newly transformed countertops. If you would like additional information and technical help, please visit rustoleantransformations.com or call Rustoleum Product Support. With your countertops now refinished, it's time to continue your journey of transformation with beautifully refinished cabinetry. That's right. The cabinets used in this video were refinished using Rust-Oleum Cabinet Transformations. It's the easy, beautiful, and durable do-it-yourself cabinetry refinishing system that's perfect for kitchens, bathrooms, and projects all over your home. There's no stripping, no sanding, no priming. Just a few simple steps for the beautiful, highly durable, and quality look you've always wanted. For more information, visit rustoleumtransformations.com.